Well, hello, farming friends. It's me, your buddy, Mr. Moose, back for some more farming sim. And today, what we're going to be doing is talking about Track IR and the installation process for Track IR. Um, this is going to be just a rough video of what you go through so that you can see the steps visually and understand how to install Track IR because you may be on the fence. I, I'll be honest with you. I've been thinking about Track IR for three months and whether or not to get it or not. But, you know, I keep reading that it's a hassle to set up and everything else like that. And there's no real video out there on it. So I'm just going to shoot a rough little video here for you. I'm going to cover all the steps. There's a couple I'm going to have to just kind of explain to you because, well, I've already installed the software. And I'm not going to uninstall it just to do a video for you guys. So. I'll explain to you a couple of things that you would see and then you can, you know, that way you'll know the process, okay? In the show description, all the file links to all the files are provided for you. Now, I'm going to do a quick disclaimer on this. TIR to Joy, it's one of the programs you're going to need to use. It may or may not be available when you're watching this video. Uh, last week, there was a nice big page on a on a gentleman's blog about it, the guy who actually wrote the code. It was there, and you had a download link on that page. This week, that page is gone, um, and so there is no download link out there for it. Luckily, I happen to have the actual link, direct link straight to the file. I'm going to post that in the show notes. But if some point he takes the file down off his, um, you know, server, then it's not going to be available anymore. So we're just going to go ahead and tell you that. And, you know, I may contact him to see if I can host it, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there for you guys. So for the time being, the file is available through a direct link, um, but it could go away and it could be inactive down the line. And this whole thing will be, you know, moot at that point. So. All right, let's get started. There are three files that you need to make this work. Of course, you need an active track IR that you uh, have purchased. I have a track IR5. Um, in addition to your track IR, you're going to need three pieces of software. You're going to need PPJoy setup, which is this file here. You're going to need TIR to Joy, version 1.2. And then you're going to need Upside Down's mod for Farming Sim which is the track IR support and I'll give you the link to that as well. So those three files you're going to need, they're all going to come in as compressed files. The uh, PP joy setup is going to come in as a seven zip file. So you're either going to need WinRAR or WinZip or seven zip to uh, extract it. Uh, the TIR to joy just comes in as a, a regular zip file. You can, Use your standard uh, extraction right out of Windows, or if you've got um, a different extraction program, you can use that. The TIR support from Upside Down, you're just going to put this file straight into your mods folder. So don't even worry about it. Um, but I just wanted to show you that this is a file you need. So we're going to take that, and we would go into our, um, uh, if we were, Doing this for real, I would go into my far, farm sim mods and just drag that over and put it into my mods folder, and that would be a done deal. So that's all you have to do with Upside Down's version of this. So, um, excusing that, we're going to go back now. The next step you need, you're going to download these, of course. You need to extract both of these files. So you'll extract both of these files to where you have folders. Uh, and you'll end up with these two. You'll end up with the TIR to Joy version 1.2. And then you'll end up with the PPJoy setup. And I've got 084-6. All right. Those are the two files you need. Here we go. This is the process for installing Track IR. The first thing you need to do is install PPJoy. Now, I'm going to tell you what you're going to expect we can, the first time you do the setup on this, because I can't recreate it, I've already done this. When Windows is installed onto your computer, it is put into just regular normal mode. 
this particular piece of code software is not it's it's like for the gaming community and it doesn't have a digital signature for it. Windows is all about digital signatures on the you know for the kernels and everything. When you first launch this particular program, it's going to tell you that it's a test version of software. It's not a finalized version of software and doesn't have a digital signature. In order to install it on your computer, it has to tell Windows to restart in test mode. And what test mode is, it allows your computer to allow software without digital signatures to install on your computer. That may or may not freak you out. That may, you know, you may say, well, I don't want to do that. I don't want my computer in test mode. From everything I've read and from everything I understand, it won't hurt your computer. It is a reversible process. Uh, there's just a small string of code that you'll have to type into your computer and you can reverse it. And that's easy to find just by Googling Windows 7, Windows 8 test mode and then put in the, you know, you know, un uninstall or reverse or whatever. D disable something of that nature. And it'll tell you exactly how to do it. So keep that in mind. The first time you click on this particular install, it's going to pop up a dialog box and say, warning, you know, this piece of software is un, it does not have a digital signature. And if you, if you proceed with this process, we're going to tell windows to start in test mode. Do you want to do that? If you click OK and you continue on with it, the software is going to make a small adjustment in your boot sequence, tell Windows that it needs to start into test mode, and then you'll need to restart your computer. If that really bothers you, then don't stop watching this video and try to figure another way to do track RR, because the only way to do this process is to go into test mode, okay? So I just want to throw that out for you. It freaked me out a little bit. I had to spend some time reading on the internet and I came to realize it's not really a security issue for me. So I'm not worried that much about it, you know, and I can always turn it off, turn it back on. But I'm just going to the only thing you really have to be concerned with is don't install any other kind of drivers while you're in test mode. If you're going to have to do some driver updates or, or any kind of updates on your computer, flip it back into normal mode using the directions that you'll find on the internet. Do your drivers, then you can come back and flip it into test mode. That's the only thing I would say for you security-wise. Um, but again, I'm not a computer genius. You might want to consult somebody else before you make that just to verify that the, that's the right situation for you. Okay, so moving on. So you're going to get that dialog box. It's going to ask you about test mode. Decide whether that's something you want to do. If you do, hit OK. Reboot your computer. When you reboot your computer and you come back to this screen, here's what you're going to do. You're going to double click on this. It's going to prompt you and you're going to do an install. And it's going to have you go through the installation process. Now I have installed this before, so my installation process is going to probably go a little bit faster than it would for you. Um, you're just going to want to do it. It's going to, I actually, the first time I did the install, I got prompted with a couple of things that said, are you sure you want to install this? Are you sure you want to install this? Yes, I do. So I'm done with it. It has been installed and we're going to go ahead and run it. The first thing you're going to, the thing you're going to see is this small little box, nothing to it. For track IR, all you got to do is come here, hit the add button. It's going to configure a new controller. Now, my particular computer has an LPT port on it, but we're going to set this for a virtual joystick. When Recon did this, he didn't even see the, the LPT port. He just saw virtual joystick. So depending on your computer and what ports are available on it, it may come up just as virtual joysticks or it may come up as LPT1. You you want it to be in virtual joysticks. And for this demonstration purposes, we're just going to leave the rest of it all the same. 
I don't know enough about this software to tell you that you need to change controller one, controller two, four. Um, if you've got a couple of joysticks or maybe you've got a steering wheel, you may need to make this, you know, one higher than the number of devices you have on your computer. All right. Um, I don't have a joystick. I don't have um, a steering wheel. So I'm just going to leave mine at controller one and hit add. It works fine for me. That's it. That's all you got to do with PP Joy. Install the virtual joystick and you're done. So just close that out. We're never going to use that program again. We're not going to have to launch it. We're not going to have to do that at any other time. All right, so now we move over to TIR to Joy. So this is our joystick emulation software here, the PP Joy. It's making a virtual joystick that in normal life you would have sitting on your, your desktop and you would, to turn the camera, to spin the camera around, you would move your joystick, okay? Well, that's going to be the phys that's going to be your virtual joystick. To get track IR to talk to that joystick, we're going to use TIR to Joy. So we'll come into this folder, and before we do anything with it, we're going to go ahead and launch track IR. So I'm going to launch my track IR program and have it running, and it'll come up and as you see, my head moves and bobs and does all that good stuff. So we're up and running with it. So I know it's running. Let's go ahead and go. Now, one thing I'll point out while we're in track IR, um, you're probably very, if you have track IR and aren't new to it, you're probably very familiar with your profiles. Um, if you have some custom profiles that you use on a regular basis, you'll know which one you want to use. If you're new to track IR, you're just getting started with it, select your smooth program profile and start with it you can work from there and uh, you can customize profiles the more you get familiar with track ir you can adjust your speed settings your smoothness for however you want to use it but just to start off if you're not really familiar with the program just go ahead and put it into smooth and that'll work for you all right back over to our files now and we are going to launch uh their tir to join now again make sure that you've got your track ir running and make sure that you've already done your virtual joystick. If you've done that, double click on this. It's going to ask you to run it. It's running. You can see now with the numbers moving around that I have communication now between track IR and my virtual joystick. This is the go between between the two. If you see these numbers moving around, everything's working properly and you are ready to jump into farm sim and have everything work. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else to get it to work. It's that simple. So we'll go ahead and I will launch Farm Sim and we'll jump back into Farm Sim and you'll see that we have track, track IR running and you can see that I can spin around and everything works just fine. So that's it guys. Um, it's not a whole lot to it. Uh, I just did want to give you the visual on how you actually use and install your Track IR headset for Farm Sim. This will give you the ability, like I said, to look around. We can look behind us, and everything works fine. Now, this will only work when you're in cab um, of a vehicle. So it's that simple. So if you've been wondering how the process works, how to get it to run. That's it. Now, the only other thing you need to know is the TIR to Joy needs to be started every time um, you launch Farm Sim. So basically, if you're going to be playing Farm Sim, uh, you'll need to start your Track IR, start Track IR to Joy, and then start Farm Sim. That's the that's the order of of it, operations or setup. So that's all you got to do. And uh, then when you finish playing Farm Sim, if you're going to go play another video game, make sure you shut down the Track IR to Joystick. Uh, otherwise, um, it won't communicate back and forth. Because if we jump into tra if we jump in to Track IR, and I show you what Track IR is seeing right now, you'll notice up here in the left-hand corner where it says Device, and then it says Title. 
This right here with title reflects what track IR is communicating with. If you're in a game like Flight Simulator or Euro Truck 2, it will usually say Flight Sim or FSX or ETS2 or Euro Truck Simulator or whatever, NASCAR, whatever game you happen to be playing, and it's communicating directly with it, it would tell you the name of that software here. Well, in this case, Track IR is not communicating directly with Farm Sim. It's communicating with the TIR to Joy. So if I close out Farm Sim and then I try to go into Euro Truck 2, if I don't close down TIR to Joy and let Track IR see nothing and then pick up the uh, Euro Truck simulator, if I launch Euro Truck and I get into Euro Truck, it's not going to do a thing because it's Trek IR is communicating with TIR to Joy. So just remember that. When you shut down Farm Sim, shut down the TIR to Joy, and then that way you can go into other games and you can play just fine. Um, and then just remember, when you get ready to launch Farm Sim, you have to open up your, your Trek IR, launch the TIR to Joy, and then get into Farm Sim. All right, guys, I hope you found this interesting or a little bit useful. And maybe it got rid of some of the uh, answers to questions you might have had about how to install Track IR to Farm Sim. Um, maybe you've been on the fence about getting a Track IR and putting it into Farm Sim and you just really weren't sure whether it was going to work or not or any of that. Um, I would say that if you are on the fence and you're thinking about get it, go ahead and download that TIR to Joy program while it is still available. Because um, if it goes away, you won't be able to get it and you'll have to be looking for a different solution. And this really is, the after going through a lot of the different solutions that are out there, this really was the best solution for me. Um, it might not be for you. Again, the test mode might scare a lot of people off. So um, just point that out for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel uh, if you want to see more videos because I do do a new video each and every day. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow with another Farm Sim video. Until then, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.